Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I am at Radical Bikes Bike Park today and the guys here have invited us down early to ride the park and show you guys before it opens on the 3rd of June. Now, if you'd have seen my last video, I said that I wanted a bit more time on the jump bike and I thought what perfect timing to come down here and have a bit more time on the jump bike, get used to how it jumps and things before I hit the big jump in the Tom Pound. So what I'm gonna to do to start off with is ride the foam pit for a bit because I've not jumped to this bike in a very long time and I feel like I'm gonna be a bit sketchy today. So they've got the foam pit facility here, which is absolutely perfect for doing that. So I'm gonna do a few hits on that to start things off. Okay, here we go then, the dirt jumper on loan from Tom. <laughs> And that is what I've got to hit. And I'm so nervous for some reason, I don't even know why. Even to ride the, th the foam pit, I'm absolutely petrified, but this is it, let's do it. Yay! Oh, that was good. Now I've got to get out. Oh. Oh, okay, right, we survived the first jump. It's actually not that bad on the dirt jumper. I think it comes back to you after a little bit of time off. I am jumping it a bit like a pencil though. So what I'm gonna do is get Tom to film from the side. Hopefully we can loosen up a bit, get a bit more confidence. And the last time I was here and I was having foam pit sessions, I was getting my one hand as good. So I wanna try and bring them back again in this session, just because start of the summer, We'll start as we mean to go on, we'll perfect the one-handers and hopefully that will lead to some other tricks. So I'm gonna to find Tom, get him to film from the side and see if he can get a bit more steezy. Right, I found Tom and in true Tom style, he wants to do something cool for my video. And he's like, oh, can I flip? But he's on his e-bike. Well, I haven't flipped the e-bike for about a year and it's actually fine. I've been doing a few here in the foam pit and I, if I had the jump, I would have just done it straight to the jump, but it's... Uh, <laughs> They're just a bit different because obviously it's heavier, isn't yeah. it? And this has got the bigger battery in yeah, it. Yeah. So it's like a proper trail bike. Yeah. So so it does go upside down. It does go upside down. So on his way down to the foam pit to film for me, Tom is going to flip for your entertainment. Here we go then, on my way to the foam pit for car. Ooh, yep. Easy. E-bike flips. Perfect. Here we go then, car inbound. Oh, boost? Whoa, what was that? I don't really know. I did this cool thing where I front flipped over and I tried to do it then, but it didn't really work. I kind of went for like a running in the air kind of thing. But what I want to do now, ow, is, <laughs> is do one-handers because I'm feeling a lot better on the ramp now and uh, on the jump bike. So I'm going to pick up from where I left off last summer get the one-handers dialed and start the session off with a banger. Oh, look at that, massive extension. Right, that definitely took me less time. Well, I done it on the first go basically and I expected to do it like three or four attempts in, but I'm stoked on that because I thought that would be a scary one, but it was actually pretty easy. So I'm actually gonna work on doing some new stuff this summer maybe take my feet off who knows but tom is now taking his actual bike back and he's going to show us some tricks into the foam pit whilst we're here and the foam pit session's going off here he comes then what's he gonna do ah oh, nice straight from the e-bike to the jumpy which is always quite an interesting transition oh, sorry that went straight on my foot why are you walking so close <laughs> far into the foot anyway quite an interesting transition because the jump bike's obviously a lot heavier than the e, than the e-bike the e-bike's a lot heavier than the jump bike you've put me off now Sorry. but yeah that's cool right we've moved the session on from the foam pit now i actually feel pretty good on the jump bike got my one hand a first go which i really did not expect and we've come to the dirt jump section and now i want to show you guys what's actually available to ride here because there's actually something for everyone there's tables for beginners there's gap jumps there's huge gap jumps You've got the resi just there, which is opposite the foam pit, which is really cool. So once you've dialed your tricks to the foam pit, you can try it to the resi, which is a little bit more realistic to a jump, but it's still quite soft. And what we've also got is the table line, the main line and the hip line there. 
Now, I can't ride the main line and I would absolutely love to. And I said last year that my goal throughout the summer was to ride the main line, but we didn't actually get around to doing it. So I'm gonna set that again this year as a goal because they're quite challenging, but I think they're actually doable. But what I'm gonna to do today is see if I can get through the table line. Now, I've done it so many times before, but I know, but it is a little bit windy today and it might be a little bit difficult. So we're gonna see how far we get. We're gonna try our best, but yeah, let's see if we can get through it right now. Right, let's just roll through them first, see what we, how we are. That was really cool. I did case a little bit, but it was quite a headwind. But I just wanted to show you guys how big the hip jumps are here. They're honestly massive, and everything here is done by hand, which makes it even more impressive because look at the size of this. They're so perfect as well. Literally insane. You probably actually can't even tell how big they are. I don't even know. Look crazy but that is definitely probably going to be quite a long way off me hitting them we're going to do the tables again though because tiny cases a little bit more speed i think we'll get through that take number two let's see if we can do it this time Clapping. I actually got through that pretty good that time. The only thing I slightly cased was the last jump. And I think the reason for that is I normally go to the right to the mulch, but I went straight that time for the dirt jump. And I think I'm going to do the mulch jump next, but I'm going to get Tom to film it from the side so you guys can see. And hopefully we can clear them all again. That was so, so cool. Like, it feels good to float dirt jumps on the dirt jump bike again. But towards the end there, I needed to regulate my speed, which I didn't do so much, but we've got to film Tom a video. So as always, we push for time, but I'm so happy with what I've achieved in the like, literally like the last hour of riding. I'm feeling back to where I was on the dirt jumper, which is exactly what I need to be able to go down that rolling and to hit the kicker jump as well. So I think now what I want to do is get Tom to follow me down there because I like the follow cams, they look really cool. So let's do that. Right, follow cam then, Cara. Let's Show us what you've got. Send it. I'll try it again. Get it. What, steaming away? Full speed. She's, like, she's pulling away from me. Yeah. You. Nice. He's going well fast through there. I know, and I braked before that jump, so I didn't overshoot. Oh yeah, like in the clips, you're Which just worked. getting it right. Yeah yeah, 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 nice. Yeah, yeah. So you tied it up that time. Yeah. Good job. Which is sick, and I'm stoked. That was sick, and like I said, I managed to clean it up, regulate my speed, learn where to brake and stuff. And the thing that I forgot about, actually, which I can't believe that I did, was I also have the pro line which has these ginormous kickers here which are sick although again for me it's the rolling well probably the kicker as well they are huge but yeah pretty sick and I think Tom is going to ride these now the wind's died down in his video to show you a bit of a demonstration but I did really want to film this video because I actually get asked quite a lot what's radical bikes like for beginners and as you see it's perfect. There's the kicker there. That's the first one. And this is the rolling. Let me just quickly show you the rolling. There. Ginormous. Shredders there, look. Oh my God, there's shredders everywhere. 
look at that it's actually insane but i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you guys can make it down to radical bikes this summer like i said they open on saturday the 3rd of june which is next saturday and if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up put your comments down below and i shall see you guys very soon and hopefully it'll be riding down the rolling bye yeah i'm about to fade away because every time i wake up i feel like it's monday something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain all of a sudden i don't look at anything the same way gotta build up my thoughts sitting in an ashtray i'm sorry that i'm so inconvenient okay just let me be me and i'll stay out of your way i can see the way you look at me i'm such a disgrace i never really asked to be brought into this place